Let's talk about an exciting new feature that is now available for Confluence Cloud. If you've ever have had a page that had an owner that has left the company or is no longer in your team and you just wanted to change that person, the owner of that page, well, up until this point, this was not possible. But in today's video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to change the page owner of any Confluence Cloud page. Now, if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please take a second here to subscribe down below. Also, make sure you drop a like if you get value out of this video. And don't forget to check out all the different links down below as they have links to my paid courses, to my t-shirts, and to also all the different sponsors that we have for these videos. So make sure you go show them some love and try out their apps. Now, let's jump into Confluence. Don't wanna sleep in, cause I got something to prove. I gotta take what I hate and finally make a move. So we've all been in the situation before where we are on a Confluence page and you'll notice that we have an owned by and then an individual. Now up until this point, changing this owner has not been possible. And the owner plays a pretty critical role because they're the person that created the page and they always have access to the page. They always have the ability to edit the page. And maybe you just don't want an individual to be the owner because maybe there was a change in ownership. Maybe there was a transition, right? Maybe that person has left the company. For whatever case, you wanna update these pages so that it includes now the most recent information. Well, let me show you how simple it is in order to do this. So all you need to do is go to whatever page you wanna change and you will click on these three ellipses here. You'll notice that when I hover, it says manage page ownership. I'll click on that. And now it tells me who created it and when, and it also tells me or gives me the option to click on this change owner button. So I'm gonna click on that button there. And all you need to do is type in the name of somebody else. So I'm gonna type in another user's name here. And I am just simply gonna click that individual. And I'm gonna click on change owner. And now that page is owned by this individual. And so that's as simple as it is. Hey, I hope you're enjoying the video so far. Let me take a quick second to tell you about today's sponsor. How do you ensure all of your documents and Confluence go through the right processes or reach the right stakeholders before they're finished? After all, every document is different and you may need a slightly different process for each one. Well, I've got the perfect solution for you. Introducing Workflows for Confluence. It's an all-in-one document management tool that allows you to build powerful document workflows with custom page statuses, approvals, unique document versioning, and integrated publishing controls. Check out the link in the description down below to get started. Now back to the video. Now there are a couple of caveats that I wanna walk you through and help you understand what just happened here because changing the ownership is very, very simple. As you can see, it took us two seconds and we were able to do it, but there's also some information that you need to know, right? So number one, this can't be reversed. So once you change the owner, Atlassian doesn't want you to change the owners back, at least if you're not a site level admin or a Confluence admin. So if you're just an, a regular user of Confluence, you can change the ownership, but you're only gonna be able to do that once for that page. And so once it's done, it's like a done deal. Number two though, is, and I'm, I just mentioned it a second ago, right? If you are a Confluence admin, then you can change it all you want. You're not gonna run into any restrictions there, but this privilege of being able to change the owner whenever you want is reserved only for your administrators. Now, something that you do need to know, once the transfer of ownership has happened, the previous owner will remain an editor until that access is changed. So you'd have to go into the space settings and change or remove that individual from your space, but just keep in mind that just because you changed the owner doesn't mean that that individual has not been kicked out of that page. They still very much can edit and access that page unless you do something else. The previous owners will also still be the watchers of that specific page. You can change who the watchers are of a page, but again, it's probably safe. If you're going to be changing the owner, you probably don't want that individual on that page anymore. So it's probably just gonna be a safer bet for you to simply remove that individual from that page or space altogether. Because keep in mind that just because you change the owner, they'll still be able to edit and they will still be watchers unless you physically go in and remove them from both of those abilities. So let's talk a little bit about notifications. Whenever you go and change and make a new owner or if your site admin goes and makes a new owner, the new person, this new individual who's now responsible for this page will receive a notification and these settings cannot be turned off. So once you make the change, rest assured that that new individual is gonna get a heads up through the system automatically and they're going to be able to essentially um, be notified that they are now the proud owners 
of a Confluence page. Hey, I hope you're enjoying the video so far. Let me take a quick second to tell you about today's sponsor. How do you ensure all of your documents in Confluence go through the right processes or reach the right stakeholders before they're finished? After all, every document is different and you may need a slightly different process for each one. Well, I've got the perfect solution for you. Introducing Workflows for Confluence. It's an all-in-one document management tool that allows you to build powerful document workflows with custom page statuses, approvals, unique document versioning, and integrated publishing controls. Check out the link in the description down below to get started. Now back to the video. Now there's one last thing that I wanna show you here before we end this quick video, and that is there's a second way to change the owner. So if you come over here to the ellipses on the far right, you will also now notice that you have a change page owner button over here. So you don't have to use the ellipses that we talked about earlier. You can actually just click on it over here and then be able to type in the name of somebody else. Now keep in mind that I'm able to change it a couple of times because I'm the site level administrator. But if you're not a site level administrator, you're only gonna be able to do this like a once and done type of deal. Um, but just wanted to give you a heads up that this there are two different ways of being able to do this. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, this is a really, really quick video, just showing you a pretty cool new feature, something that I know has plagued many, many teams throughout my six, seven years of using Jira and Confluence. And so I'm really happy that finally Atlassian has brought this pretty cool feature over to Confluence Cloud. And so if you've ever, again, had these pages where you know that they're owned by individuals that just simply don't need to be the owners anymore, Go happy and start removing or updating your page owner so that you can now have the rightful owner in charge of these pages. And that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you smash the subscribe button down below. Drop a like if you found value out of this video. Share it with your friends and colleagues. And most importantly, don't forget to check out the links down below so that you can help support the channel in all the different ways we have, which we have merch, we have paid courses, and of course we have our sponsors. So make sure you give their app a try and I'll see you in the next one. So fight and fight.